Save is here with another Solvers Tech Tip. Uh, today I want to show you a new function in Solvers 2016 which help you to make angular break views. In previous versions of Solveworks, if you wanted to make an angular break view, for example, if you wanted to add break to uh, this isometric view, uh, if you uh, use the break command under your view layout, you ended up uh, with something like this, which was not the uh, desired shape or desired view. Now in 2016, you have a new command that we can use to make a very nice angular break view. Uh, to use that command, uh, which is called model break view, we need to go back to our model. And here, if you go to insert, you can see that we have a model break view right there. Click on it, and it's going to start that command for you. <clears throat> and here under this command, you have two different, uh, two separate tabs. The first one is steps, and you can define the, the uh, your plane and uh, your cutting plane and the distance between them and the orientation of these plans. Uh, and under the second tab, you can define the style of the cutting edges. For example, I'm going to select this one here. And also you can define the intensity of the shape or the distance between uh, two uh, parts of your body. So I'm going to press OK for this one. And as you can see, as soon as I uh, press OK, SolidWorks will make a drive uh, configuration for me, which is called Model Bre uh, Break View. And like any other configuration I can turn it off or on. Now if I go back to my drawing and if I click on my view you can see that under my reference configuration section uh, now I have this uh, checkbox showing exploded or uh, model break state. If I click on that uh, I can select my uh, break view, model break view from the list uh, in this case, because I only have one uh, break view, it's going to be the default one. So, press OK. And here is my nice uh, break view, angular break view. 